Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I will teach you doing this eye makeup look and I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Hopefully this will give you some inspiration for Thanksgiving that's coming up. I just wanted to do something that would hopefully give you an idea for your makeup. So to start off I'm going to use the Smashbox 24 hour primer because this is a tacky base eyeshadow primer. Um, I go ahead and use it up to set it with the e.l.f. high definition powder because it's a powder and it's going to set that in place so I can have a foundation for my shadows. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the shade Salted Caramel and pop that into my crease with the Sonia Kashuk blending brush. Okay, so now that we have that in place, we're going to go ahead and pick up Semi Sweet and I'm using a fluffy brush as well and slowly blending that into my crease as well because I want to have a nice warm crease. I always like having warm creases, that's just my thing, but I'm just going to go ahead and blend that into my crease with Semi Sweet. And then next I'm going to go ahead and pick up the shade Triple Fudge from the Chocolate Bar Palette. And I'm going to go ahead and darken up my outer crease because this isn't too of a dark look. It's just a very nice soft look. So I want it to be very appropriate for the daytime if in case you do have something to do in the day or however the case is. But I'm just going to go ahead and dab that in place on the outer corners and slowly blending that in towards my inner tear duct area. <music> So we won't have any like harsh lines on our on that triple fudge shade. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. And just remember, blending is key here. So I'm gonna go back with salted caramel and just diffuse that again to have a nice transition, and we won't have any harsh lines as well. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this shade called Marzipan, and then put that all over the lid not passing where we put the triple fudge dark shade just because we want to make sure the triple fudge is showing and also marzipan is the spotlight of the eye so now i'm going to use this elf crease brush which is super tiny and precise and with the shade milk chocolate we're going to go ahead and blend both of those colors diffusively so it can like mesh into one another so it won't be like any hard transition lines or anything like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend everything out together so everything would look very nice and transitioned. Now with the shade tra tra Champagne Truffle, I'm going to go ahead and use that as a brow bone highlight. And I always like cleaning up the edges so I can have a nice sharp crisp line. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to the face and I'm using the Rimmel Lasting Primer today. And I like using patting motions just so I feel like the primer can just go ahead and fill into the skin and it'll fill in my pores so it can blur out the pores. But if you like to rub it, it's totally fine. Personal preference. I'm going to move on to foundation. I'm using the L'Oreal True Match foundation with this Eco Tools Buffing Brush which actually I really like the finish of it. It wasn't too full coverage. It was actually a pretty medium coverage. It was like a sheer. It wasn't that that full coverage. But I'm going to move on to concealer and I'm using the LA Girl Concealer. I will list the shade selection that I am in and I'm going to go ahead and use a foundation brush to blend out my concealer. <music> So this next step is optional. I am cream contouring and I'm using the LA Girl Concealer in the shade Toast. I like to do this occasionally and since it's Thanksgiving I just thought maybe some of you might want to try it, maybe you don't. But I am using this Smashbox um, primer water and an e.l.f. stippling brush and I am gently patting that into my skin and 
working it up towards my temple area in an upward motion. Um, you don't have to do this, this is totally optional, but which is why I fast forwarded just in case any of you guys were interested. Okay, so as the, we're setting that cream contour in place, this is my favorite part of makeup. These are the Sephora Radiant Luminizing Drops. They're in the shade Ultra Light and I've been obsessed with this lately. I swear in every makeup post that I put on my Instagram, these are showing up. But I really, really do like them. But I am just blending that with my finger in an angle towards my upper hairline area. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> Next, I'm going to use the Cody Airspun Translucent Powder with a small kabuki brush to set my concealer in place. And this is going to make sure that our concealer won't crease throughout the day and just make sure we're going to have a nice bright under eye area. Next, I'm going to go ahead and use the Kat Von D Shade Light Contour Palette. And I'm going to use the shade Shadow Play first to bronze up my skin. This is going to set a foundation for the cream contour we had. And then I am going to go in with the shade Subconscious. Yes, that's the shade Subconscious. It's the more gray, cool toned. And I'm gonna use the NARS Either Brush because the bristles are very chiseled. And this is gonna bring more um, definition to the face. So it's gonna like chisel out the cheekbone. And then with that same Cody Translucent um, Airspun Powder, I'm gonna go ahead and put that under the cream con under the contour just so I could have a nice defined line and with my BH Pro Studio Powder I'm going to go ahead and blend everything out together making sure that I don't have anything white or translucent on my face that everything blends all seamlessly and I'm using an e.l.f. kabuki brush to do this So of course for an extra glow, we're gonna go in with Mary Luminizer from The Balm and I'm using Morphe's 310 brush. The fan brush is my favorite brush to use for highlighting and we're gonna have a more luminosity to our cheekbones. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use for blush Milani's Coral Cove and pop that onto the apples of my cheeks. I've been liking this method of bronzing and then highlighting and then a blush on top. I just like how it all diffuses together. Um, for the next step, we're going to go ahead and blend everything out together so we won't have any harsh lines. And I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera and I popped on some lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and use the shade again from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, the shade Semi Sweet. And putting that on the lower lash line. And I will diffuse it with a Salted Caramel, which is this shade right here, and with a small elf crease brush and just diffuse those colors together we're gonna move on to the lips next and you can honestly pair any lip color with this look honestly any color from nude to dark to vampy anything but I'm using cherry kiss from Rimmel to line my lips and then I am going to use the LA girl flat finish pigment gloss in the shade secret it's like a very classic red i thought this was going to be a little bit more darker but it's actually a very true classic red that's the end <clears throat> excuse me that's the end of this makeup tutorial and i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope this gave you some inspiration for thanksgiving oh we're not done yet we are setting that all in place now we're finished okay thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial and i will see you in my next video bye There's lipstick on my teeth. To all the people who can dance like